Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bailey, and I am going to share with you some of my favorite read alouds for my kiddos. My kids are six, five, four, two, and one, and we do a lot of read alouds. We love pictures, we love stories that captivate little imaginations, and so I, uh, as I started thinking through what kinds of stories we like to read, I came up with too long of a list to share. Um, but here are a few of our favorites. Um, one of them is My Father's Dragon, and I remember reading this when I was a child, and it's a really quick read, um, and so that's a fun one. It's by Ruth Stiles Gannett. Uh, another one is The Aesop for Children, and I love the one with pictures by Milo Winter because they're just beautiful illustrations. Um, I think it's important to cultivate in our children a love for beauty, and one of the ways we can do that is when we're giving them picture books, um, finding ones that also have beautiful pictures with them. I have been amazed at how much my kids like these because some of the stories, you wonder if it's going over their heads, the morals or the lessons that are being taught, um, but they really do catch on and I think because there's some element of mystery, it keeps their minds going and they love for me to read these to them over and over again. So that's a favorite. Also, James Harriet, his um, stories about... Um, Animals, the James Harriet Treasury for Children, is another one of those books that has just beautiful illustrations. And my kids love these. This was a, a gift to us, this book. And um, we just read these stories over and over again. And um, one of the things that I love about this book is it's captivating not just for children, but for grown-ups. And so if you find yourself reading a children's book and you are hating it, uh, my thought has always been a good children's book is also a good book for adults as well. And so the ones that are excellent for children are the ones that you're not going to grow tired of reading either. Um, a classic, The Little Engine That Could, always good for those steady plotters that we have in our family to encourage them, you know, and remind them, you know, you thought you could, you thought you could. Amelia Bedelia is always a favorite. A lot of nonsense here, but we all need to know not to take ourselves too seriously. And so this is a favorite of ours. Um, a newer book, this is Bear Snores On by Jane Chapman and Karma Wilson. And I love this book. Um, there's also more bear books, like there's Bear Wants More, there's Bear Says Thanks. I think there's five or more books. And it, it also has really beautiful illustrations. It's got a, a rhyme to the um, story. And um, just... Just a sweet, sweet story, and we find ourselves quoting this book often throughout our days um, just because it's got such a, a catchy rhythm to it. Also, Beatrix Potter, any of her books are obviously classics, and my children love them. Um, Go Dog Go has been a family favorite. I think all five of my kids have at one time had this at their, as their favorite book and have had it memorized and then been able to read it themselves um, during their nap time. And uh, I, I love that it talks about, um, you know, this dog is up, this dog is down, and it kind of gives them a reference for where things are at. Um, Make Way for Ducklings and any other books by Ro Robert McCloskey. Um, he has beautiful illustrations as well and just lovely stories. Um, and then the last one I'll share with you are the Little Bear books, which these were actually my father's books. And so my grandma gave these to me, and now my children are reading them. So there's, um, they're by Elsie Homeland Minark and illustrated by Maurice Sendak. Um, there's Little Bear, Father Bear Comes Home, Little Bear's Visit, about him visiting his grandparents, Little Bear's Friend, and last but not least, a kiss for little bear. So that's a, a little snapshot at some books that I have found are wonderful for my family and I hope that you'll um, enjoy them as well. Have a great day!